Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you subscribed. If you haven't, make sure you do and click notifications. So today I'm giving you a break from air dry clay. I am. And I'm going to do something with some champagne glasses. Obviously summer and springtime is time for weddings. And so I thought, you know what? Why don't I make some bride and groom glasses ready for the wedding season? So are you ready to see how I do it? Okay, you better follow me. Right, as with anything that's worth doing, this is gonna take a bit of time, okay, and patience, all right? So do one at a time. So the first one I'm gonna do is the male, so the groom. And I'm just going to pop on, if I can find the end to my low tack tape, and a layer of tape all around the top, okay? And you need to make sure it is absolutely straight. Okay, you don't want it to be curvy. Okay, so this is going to start forming his tucks. Okay, so if, it's, if it is creased, just move it oops, slightly and get it straight. Okay, so you want to make sure this is right. Okay. Chop that off. Okay. So that's going to form sort of the top of his jacket. Now, being a man, he's going to have a tuck. So I need to make sure I've got my tucks shape as well. So this is all going to be black for him, okay? But he's going to be wearing a white shirt, isn't he? Of course, most grooms are wearing white shirts, okay? So to make the white shirt, again, I need to make sure I um, use my low tuck um, tape. But I want to make like a V here, so obviously your tape isn't a V shape, which is where you need to be a bit creative. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of my tape, the length I think I'm going to need, so about there I think, okay, and just cut it, okay, and then I'm going to make my glass at the moment, and then I'm just going to cut the shape I want like that. Make sure you are symmetrical, okay? Right, so, oops, there we go. Can you see? And I'm gonna place this on the glass. If you can see that. Oops. About there, okay? Just turn it around so I can see it myself and make sure it's straight. There we go. Okay, so that's starting to form my male tucks. Okay, now because this is a glass, what I don't want is to get the black of the um, spray into the actual bit you drink. Okay, so I'm going to put some cling film on top like that. I'm just going to tie it at the top she says I'm going to tighten turn it around so I can see what I'm doing it's easier when you can see what you're doing this just protects the inside of the glass because say if people do want to use this to drink with I would not like them to be ill okay so just make sure your cling film doesn't impact though anywhere around the tape okay it's just a little cap all right so that is the male now he's much easier you can stick it underneath the tape if you want to i'm just popping it on top like that okay so that's my male the lady is just a little bit more complex because my lady has chosen to wear a sweetheart neck um wedding dress okay so again i need to uh, make sure that my shape for my bride matches that now as with the man um, I do need to tape the top. Now she's gonna have a bit of a low back dress as well because that's what brides do. So let's start off just doing the normal tape at the top. Okay, and again, keeping it as straight as you can. This is where you realize your glass isn't straight as you'd like it. Okay, so let's chop that off. So she's gonna wear a, long, a low back dress, okay. We know that for a fact. So what we need to do is make sure that she has a low back dress. So we need some tape and we need to build the back lower. 
Okay, so I'm gonna turn it around so I can see it because I wanna keep straight lines as much as possible. Okay. I'm just gonna put two layers onto this. Right, so can you see? Okay, so it's not straight, but it doesn't need to be right now, okay, because this is her bottom of her dress. Okay. Now what I need to do now is create a curve up here. Oops. Okay. So to do that, what I need to do is just check what I want here. Okay. just need to, and I'm going to look what I'm doing because it's easy. So what I've done here, I don't know if you can see, I've just sort of pushed it up a little bit like that to bend it. Can you see? Okay, and now I'm going to put my tape going up as well. Okay, like that. And just using my finger, giving it a bit of a uniformed bend. Okay, like I said, it's worth putting the effort in to get it looking perfect, okay? So just fold under and cut off any tape you think doesn't quite fit where you want it, okay? To get a, a nice edge for her, okay? Because she wants her dress to look really pretty, okay? And just cut off any excess on top. Okay. So can you see? Okay, I'm going to do the same with the other side now. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a curve with my nails, okay? And then using tape, I'm using the leftover from the other piece as well, just not to waste tape. Use some scissors to cut anything off that I think isn't relevant for her dress. Okay. And then filling any other bits that I need to fill in. Okay. Okay, right, so can you see that's the form in the back of the dress now? Okay, so it's gonna scoop. Now obviously at the front, she's also not gonna have a lot, but she's having a sweetheart neck. So I'm gonna do my sweetheart first. So I'm getting my tape. going to cut my sweetheart in okay so it's almost like you're doing a, um, a heart but without the top bit and it is always hard when you're using tape to do this so I, I do appreciate it guys and again spend some time getting your shape right because it will be worth it in the end There's my sweetheart. So I'm going to place that. So make sure I've got the back. So use that as a thing. And I'm going to place it about there. Okay. Can you see that? Just there. Okay. So now I need to build her dress back up. Um, because obviously she's, she's going to have a low neck with the sweetheart. And again, it's all around taping up from that. So... What you want is for this to taper here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is start putting that there. Okay. And then where it meets that is, if I can get the sticky tape off, is just measure where I want the heart shape to come, so. Again, cutting your tape and there you go just giving it a bit of a shape okay I'm gonna try to check it okay you can now see if you need to move your sweetheart neck up and I do okay and do the same with the other side. Okay. 
when you've done it just have a good look at it okay so i'm just placing it down just to check it now it's lower this side than this side so i just need to correct that i've got lots of little tape here so i can just do this let's have a look Any imperfections, just use your tape to correct it, okay? You don't want her to be lopsided on a wedding day. Okay, and then just using my nails. If you haven't got nails, then just use some sharp, just to give it a little bit of a, a shape, okay? On the masking tape. Right, so I now need to make a cap for this one as well. And then I need to go off into my garage and start spraying my bride and groom. Let me make the cap. Just tie it around. Now obviously being a bride and groom, he's black, she's gonna be white. So let's get spraying. Okay, so I'm in my garage and uh, I'm using my garage because it's freezing outside and I also need to leave this to dry overnight and um, I wouldn't want to leave this outside in the garden. So I'm just getting my spray paint and giving it a good shake, okay? And I'm just using this, I um, don't know if you can see the spray paint. Um, now be careful when you first do this because you don't know how thick it's going to go on, all right? Uh, this is my handmade spray boot. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a quick layer. Okay, one of the beauties of this um, cling film on top is you can turn it around without getting your hands too sticky as well. Now you're better off doing this very gently and doing a couple of coats than having it run on you. Okay, so that's the white, and I'm going to take this out gently. There we go, and just pop it to dry. Okay, and then get my other glass, which is my groom, and do exactly the same, but with black. Give my can a big shake. Now, this is a slightly different one, this is a matte, super matte. Okay, so let's give the groom. Of a maker. Right, so they have both dried now. I've done about three coats on each one. Um, the white one for the bride, I've already taken off the tape and you can now see the outline of the dress. Um, just now need to do the groom. Let me just take off the, the plastic coating and then just peel off the masking tape. Hopefully we have on the end of the tape right okay so here's my groom and my bride but they don't look very bride and groomy at the moment so i'm going to decorate them now so with the bride um i'm going to go for pearls and i've got um some strings of pearls here which i'm just going to glue around the edge of the dress so let me get my glue gun going and we can start on that. And then the um, groom, I'm also going to um, put the white shirt on. So what I'll need to do for the groom is just get some white acrylic paint and paint in there. So I've got lots to do today to get these finished. So let's get on with it. Okay, so let's get the groom's white shirt on the go. So I've got my white acrylic paint. I just need to carefully paint in between this is where my glasses come in handy so I can see what I'm doing. If anybody else out there as blind as I am, right, let's start. Try again. Right, 
So that's his first coat. I'll leave that to dry for a little while. Right, so I've painted the white for the man's um, shirt. So now I need to make sure I get his tux perfect. And I've got some black ribbon here, which I'm just going to um, glue um, either side of the shirt, just down here. Obviously, I now need to do a trim all the way round his neck for the collar and in preparation for a bow tie. his bow tie I have a beautiful little diamond bow tie which I'm just going to glue onto there as well okay what do you think so far now obviously something else is missing here now and he needs some buttons and he needs definitely a button here and then a couple on his shirt for his jacket. So I'm thinking maybe a little button like that there. Okay, what do you think? And then I'm just gonna pop, I've got some little pearls here. And I'm going to pop a couple of the pearls onto his shirt to give the effect of the buttons. And if I can get them to not stick to my fingers. There we go. And that's my groom finished. What do you think? So we now have a bride and a groom. Okay guys, so what do you think? My little bride and groom, you see? Now they do take a bit of time to make um, because obviously you need to leave them to dry in between each stage, but I think they're pretty cute, don't you? And a nice little present if you've got a friend that's getting married very soon. And it's just something really quirky. And it's just two champagne glasses that I got um, for, I think it's over a pound each. So it's not a bad little present, is it? 
and it's personalised. So I hope you liked that guys. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, get notifications and give me a thumbs up. Alright guys, I'll see you on my next crafting project. Bye!